guys, so today's video is going to be on some of my favorite books that I purchased recently. If you watched my other video, which I believe was like four years ago, I did mention some of my favorite uh, books for that season. But of course, this is a more updated version. So if you haven't checked out my previous video, make sure to check that out. The link will be in the description bar. So recently, I purchased these books within like two months. And if you follow me on my Instagram page, I did mention this book, which is called So. It stands for Sew Everything Workshop. It's by Diana Rupt. And it also comes with 10 original pattern pieces with an $80 value. Now the price on here says $28.95, but I got it for about $7 um, from a store called Book Off where they have like a lot of secondhand movies and books and stuff. So I really, really like this book because not only does it come with the patterns, but it shows you... Um, it tells you basically how to, of course, lay the pattern, even though when you buy a pattern, it shows you the layout already. And it tells you more about uh, the material used in sewing, how to cut on the bias, and it says a lot. It shows you a lot, everything you need to know if you're a beginner in fashion. And the illustration in here for the patterns that are part of this book is really easy to understand and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to assemble your patterns and sew and stuff. So if you're looking, if you're beginner friendly or even if you're advanced, I really think this is a good book to have. A lot of my um, subbies already purchased this book when they saw me post it on Instagram and I believe they paid about $10 or $20 for it, but um, make sure to check it out on Amazon or eBay. Another book that I got is called Crafty Chica's Guide to Artful Sewing. Uh, I really like this book. This is, if you're really more of a crafty person and like to recycle things and whatnot, I think this would be the perfect book for you. I paid $7 for this from the store called Book Off, and I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon or eBay. So make sure to check this out. And another book that I've cited that I got is called Fabric Painting. I already have some knowledge of fabric painting because I learned while I was in uh, fashion school. So this is like the perfect book um let's see i bookmark some pages here so this tells you the basic materials and equipment you need to um know in order to fabric paint and this really gives you a step-by-step -step guide on painting and dyeing fabric different types of fabrics such as silk velvet and so on and it shows you uh different types of designs you can do when fabric painting um also it has here ideas in like the far end of the book different ideas you can get inspired by when fabric painting so got vests ties home decoration and stuff like that so if you're uh have any interest in fabric painting make sure to check this out this is probably the best book i've seen as as far as fabric painting and uh like i said i paid seven dollars for this at book off but i'm sure you can find it on ebay or amazon Another book that I bought is called No Time to Sell by Sandra Benzina. When I saw the cover of this book, I knew that it's been out for a while because of the way that they were dressed. It looks a lot more vintage. And uh, when I opened the book, it said that this was published in 1997. So this is actually a really good book. It has a lot of techniques for patterns and adjusting your patterns, ways to tailor your garments so that you have more of a perfect fit, hem in the neckline, how the hem the neckline with bias tape and stuff like that. Um, but if you watch my other video, which I mentioned the Reader's Digest book, it has most of the techniques that are in this book. It's a, like I said, this book has a little bit a couple of techniques that's not mentioned in the Reader's Digest book. But overall, this is a good book. Only paid $7 for it at Book Off. And I'm pretty sure you could find it like on uh, eBay or Amazon. This other book I got is called Sewing Projects for the Home and it's by Singer. I did not know that Singer had like a great collection of books until now. And I was randomly flipping through the pages and I landed on this page which has um, the step-by-step -step guide to do slip covers for your furniture. And that's something that I've really been interested in, especially uh, to interior design and decorating the home and things like that. And it, it just has everything you need to know on how to do slip covers for like your couches, sofa, stuff like that. So this is a really good book if you're into home decorating. And I did see this on Amazon, so if you're interested, make sure to check that out. 
So I got another great book by Singer, which is called Fabric Artistry. I really like this book. It shows you different ways to manipulate your fabric, how to crinkle your fabric, and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Also, how to machine open work. Um, it shows you how to use a stabilizer to do that, and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide with um, instructions. So it's really easy to follow. I really like this book, and I'm definitely going to be using this when I start designing some of my own fabric. And uh, mostly all these books I bought at Book Off, but they do have all of these books on Amazon. I checked for myself, so make sure to check that out. Another book I got is called Fine Embellishment Techniques. I really love this book. I already have knowledge of hand beading, but this just has way more stuff on hand beading that I already knew. Uh, if you're into hand beading or want to learn more about hand beading, I think this is the perfect book. It, it gives you a step-by-step -step guide, gives you a lot of um, instructions on how to do a lot of different ways of hand beading and I think this will be perfect for me because when I make my gowns I do use a lot of appliques and then I apply hand beadings to my garments so if like I said if you want to learn more about hand beading the embellishment technique book is the perfect book for you anyways you guys I hope you enjoy my little book review here if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comment box below and I'll be sure to reply also make sure to check the description box for all these books I'll list the titles as well as the author so you can go ahead and find that on Amazon but other than that I'll see you next week for a new video bye